welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's Daily Battle Drill with me, Lieutenant Rob. For more information, go to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash daily dash devotional. Let's read together Mark chapter 6, verses 30 to 44. Jesus feeds 5,000. The apostles returned to Jesus from their ministry tour and told him all they had done and taught. Then Jesus said, Let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. He said this because there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his apostles didn't even have time to eat. So they left by boat for a quiet place where they could be alone. But many people recognised them and saw them leaving, and people from many towns ran ahead along the shore and got there ahead of them. Jesus saw the huge crowd as he stepped from the boat, and he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Late in the afternoon his disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the nearby farms and villages and buy something to eat. But Jesus said, You feed them. With what, they asked. We'd have to work for months to earn enough money to buy food for all these people. How much bread do you have, he asked. Go and find out. They came back and reported, We have five loaves of bread and two fish. Then Jesus told the disciples to have the people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of fifty or a hundred. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up towards heaven and blessed them. Then, breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread to the disciples so they could distribute it to the people. He also divided the fish for everyone to share. They all ate as much as they wanted, and afterwards the disciples picked up twelve baskets of leftover bread and fish. A total of five thousand men and their families were fed. Amen. Mum's picnics were legendary affairs. I remember a battered old green hamper that came out, with proper china plates and silver cutlery. There were beautiful sandwiches, crisps, which were a treat in those days, other snacks, cake and fruit. Every one was an event. Mothers are generally loving, caring and feeling people. They want to look after every aspect of their children's lives. Likewise, Jesus provides this picnic to 5,000 men and their women and children, not because he wanted them to believe in him, not because he had something to teach them, but simply because he had compassion on them. He saw they were lost, straying from God and in grave danger, like sheep without a shepherd. He was deeply moved, and like a mother, simply had to do something about it. He could have sent them away, of course. But like a mother, Jesus is concerned with every aspect of our lives, the physical as well as the spiritual. So as well as meeting their physical needs, Jesus did have something to teach his disciples. It's a lesson we must learn too. When his disciples point out the problem of a large crowd in a remote place, late in the day, needing something to eat, Jesus' response must have astounded them. But Jesus said, You feed them. It's a command we cannot afford to take lightly. Jesus' compassion for the hungry is such an important lesson that it's one of those rare events that is recorded in all four Gospels. For people who are desperately hungry, there is perhaps no better way to show God's love than simply to feed them. As the consequences of the current global pandemic continue to unfold, I suspect there may be many opportunities to meet people's physical needs, as well as their spiritual ones in the name of Jesus, who likewise has compassion on them. 
If my mum could provide a feast of a picnic, may I do the same to those who most need God's love. Today, as you go about your daily life, think through this question. What excuse might you be tempted to make when God calls you to do something about the human needs in your community? And I look forward to seeing you again for another daily battle drill. God bless you. We hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook or Instagram by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for another daily battle drill.